Okay, y'all, let's break down what we did not see between Jocelyn and Azriel. Azriel Clary went to that condo to instigate that altercation with Jocelyn. She tweeted the morning of, just hours before it went down. Her exact words were, it's a good day to go to jail. What we saw on Azriel Instagram Live was the beginning of the first brawl. Jocelyn did whoop her ass. Nobody is wrong about that. Azriel wanted us to see that. She knew exactly what to say to trigger Jocelyn. And that was, you going to jail for sleeping with a minor with him. Ezreal instigated the altercation further by saying, he doesn't like men. You just snitched on your own boyfriend. Ezreal was insinuating that R. Kelly is bisexual. She twisted Jocelyn's words because what Jocelyn was saying was he doesn't like men in his house. Azriel Clary went to that condo with the shit, y'all. When she said that, that's when Jocelyn ran up on her. Before Azriel said that, Jocelyn was standing there looking confused at the welcome home balloons and looking at the camera crew that Azriel had recording her and looking at Azriel recording her on Instagram Live. She was trying to process everything that was going on around her, but at the same time, she was agitated. And when Azriel said what she said, that's what triggered Jocelyn. After Jocelyn rushed Azriel, they broke it apart. Then it escalated into the hallway. Jocelyn was trying to walk away. Azriel followed her because she wanted her lick back. That's when we see nothing but hear everything. Because at this point, they're in the hallway. And this is where TMZ filled in the blank. From the security footage in the hallway. Once in the hallway, Jocelyn noticed that Azriel was following her. She was still trying to get at Azriel, but she was being held back by some man. That gave Azriel the opportunity to run up on Jocelyn and hit her. And that's when Jocelyn fell to the ground. Then Ezreal walked off. Jocelyn jumped up and ran after her. Ezreal Clary then grabbed Jocelyn's hair, threw her to the ground, and popped her continuously until that lady and two men broke it up. Ezreal then went back into the condo and called the police and told half truth. She should have been arrested too. They fought each other. It was an even swap, no swindle. In my opinion, Ezreal should have never called the police. But since she's playing police games, Jocelyn Savage need to return the favor. Thanks to TMZ, Jocelyn can beat that charge. All she got to do is keep it real and say we fought each other. Because Ezreal is all over Instagram bragging, insinuating that she beat up Jocelyn. They both were aggressive, but Ezreal instigated it. Ezreal continues to tell us she's playing chess. No, she's not. She's playing tic-tac-toe. Chess is all about strategy. 
She doesn't have that. She does not do that. She let us know her move, and then she does it. There's no strategy in telling me what you're going to do and then do it. I am so sick and tired of people saying that these girls are victims and survivors. They are not victims and survivors. They are willing participants. They consented to be with that grown man. That's morally wrong on their part. And legally wrong if they were under age when R. Kelly was sleeping with them on his part. And this is why I say everybody is guilty and grimy. Nobody hands are clean in this R. Kelly scandal. I saw two hoes fighting over a nigga. I saw two ratchet ass young bitches fighting over the king of R&B. Every time you turn around, Ezreal Clary is on social media going live or making posts. She's always talking about some damn food, her weave, a YouTube channel, Twitter, Instagram, her new album, all that dumbass shit. That's not a victim or a survivor. She has never mentioned therapy. Not once, not ever. She's trying to come up off R. Kelly simply because her name is attached to R. Kelly. Victims and survivors do not carry on the way that these girls are carrying on. Victims and survivors do not fight over someone that they're claiming held them captive, kidnapped them, brainwashed them, gave them Stockholm Syndrome and all this. Starved them, beat them. None of that All the rumors that was out months ago about them moving out was not true. Them bitches stayed in that condo until eviction day. Them hoes literally got evicted. And that's what we saw unfold during that altercation. They're not being held against their will. R. Kelly been in jail for six months. Not only that, they went to court to support him. Gail King asked them, what do they want to do with their lives? They replied, we haven't thought that far. We're comfortable and content with what we're doing right now because we know that Robert is going to support us in whatever we do. But the well ran dry. Ezreal Clara ain't playing chess. She's dumb. Every time you turn around, her and her daddy is down to the social media telling all the business. You see... If she would have never said what she said on that Instagram live and then turned around and started bragging on Instagram, we would have never went back and investigated the entire altercation. They wasn't expecting TMZ to get that security camera footage from the hallway. That's how stupid they are. They so stupid and thirsty. They can't stay off social media. And his fans and supporters. Oh my God. What the fuck is a dollar for the king? That man ain't asked nobody for nothing. That man can handle his own financial affairs. He can handle his own legal fees. 
They out of their lead with this dollar for the king. What they need to do is stick to funerals and fish fries. Because when it comes to the courts, they're clueless. How the hell do they think they helping R. Kelly if they can't come together and gather a damn dollar? The entire scandal is a shit show. If ain't nobody else going to say it, let me be the first. Let me tell y'all where R. Kelly went wrong. R. Kelly picked the wrong pussy. He picked up some hood hoes. He didn't go pick up no young girls that can foot their own bill. Moving on, when Tasha K said the goal has always been to take down R. Kelly, she told on herself, she told on the parents, she told on the girls, she told on the feds, she told on Lifetime, she told on everybody. That little statement said a lot. And what Azriel Clary and her daddy, Angelo Clary and Team Truth, failed to realize is this is their moment. And they better enjoy it while it lasts because it will not last long. Lies don't last long, y'all. She thinks she just going to come up and be a superstar. That's not what's going to happen, baby. Look at what happened to Sparkle. I'll give you a better example. I can do better than that. Look at what happened to Andrea Kelly. Any and everybody that thought that they was going to come up off of R. Kelly, it did not last long. Ezreal Clary and her daddy think that people are not paying attention to what's going on. People are actually paying attention to what's going on. People that were in the documentary with them are sick of the shenanigans too. Wendy Williams did commentary on her show about the bra. The first thing she said was, Oh, I wish that they would just go away. Charlemagne the God, the entire breakfast club, shitted on them. People are sick of this. And another thing that they fail to realize is, R. Kelly is here for the fight. R. Kelly ain't pulling no pill bill. R. Kelly has always pleaded not guilty. So at the end of the day, Jocelyn Savage needs to handle Azriel Clary, the way that she's trying to handle her. This is the perfect time for her to get over her daddy. Because he good at having motherfuckers locked up. Dawson Savage better get on the business. Ain't no way I sit around and let Azriel Clary play with me like that. I have her ass sitting in jail eating a bologna bell grande. While she's sitting on social media every time you turn around talking shit. I have her ass in shackles standing beside a public defender and the judge with a mug shot. If I was Jocelyn Savage, I'd take that little bitch down through there. Bitch, you wanted me to eat your little pissy pussy. Ain't no way I'd go out like that. Jocelyn better get on the business. And get her shit together and handle them motherfuckers like they trying to handle her if she for R. Kelly. Because Ezreal Clary is not as strong as she trying to portray, I mean portray and pretend. Y'all see how she broke down? Ooh, this nigga. She was literally having a breakdown. When she was on Instagram live. But she was trying to keep it together at the same time. And pretend to be tough. She ain't playing no damn checkers. That little bitch playing tic-tac-toe. And another thing. Her daddy going so hard after R. Kelly. But what about the dude that led her to attempt suicide? You mean to tell me. 
that your daughter attempted suicide because a regular ass nigga cheated on her. But then you turn around and push her in the arms of the king of R&B who has thousands of bitches running behind him. And she turned around and ended up in a polygamous relationship with him. Can y'all make that make sense? Then got the nerd to talk about some fuck R. Kelly. No, nigga, fuck you.